just tell me one thing, I'm curious. Why didn't Ed Miliband just admit on the World at One yesterday, Sadiq Khan, that Labour's planned reduction in VAT could lead to a temporary rise in borrowing? You have to ask Ed. Yeah, well, we've said that for about a year we'd have a temporary VAT cut, but, but that obviously depends on the state of the economy, and you have to make a judgment, budget by budget, okay. about, about, the, about the necessity of well, that VAT cut. Well, that's interesting you say, okay, for about a year. Now, that would cost the Exchequer around £12 billion. 12 pounds. billion pounds. So how would you fund that? Well, what, what, I, what I'm saying to you is that we would have that temporary VAT cut that would contribute to growth and that would get borrowing down. I, but I it wouldn't, it wouldn't contribute to growth tomorrow. If you're Prime Minister now, cut VAT for a year, you're going to have to spend £12 billion and you hope you'll get the money back in the medium term, but you but, but, don't know that. You don't so you'll have but, to borrow more, wouldn't no, you? No, you don't understand, Martha. I don't think you're, you're quite uh, accepting this point. Why has George Osborne's borrowing gone from naught to £61 billion? Pounds? What, why do you think that is? I'm asking you about but your yeah, plans, no, not no, George Osborne. No, no, I'll be talking to the Prime Minister. I want to, I want to ask you... But it's you, very you, relevant. Look, I it's understand why you to want to point. change the subject. I'm not I, changing the subject at all. Just answer my question, it's which is... It's very relevant to this point. It's you, very relevant to this point. You look, want to cut VAT by... Tw and, and which will cost the country £12 billion. How are you going to fund that in the short term? I'm not asking no. you about the medium term. No, the, the whole point about a VAT cut is it would get growth moving. And if you get growth moving, you get more tax revenues in, uh, and therefore you get borrowing down. That is the, that's the point of what we're saying. And possibly I think it's really you do. Important. Possibly you do. You don't know that, do you? Well, I, I don't accept that. All of the independent estimates that I've seen say that a VAT cut would contribute to growth. Now, one of the reasons I've been pressing you on this is because some of the criticism of your leadership has been that because you're not so clear on giving answers to some of these questions, that's why Labour is behind on trust when it comes to running the economy. No, I think that the, the issue is different to that. I think the issue is that people see that you've had three years of this government. You see a government that has taken the country in the wrong direction, but people are asking this very profound question, which is, can anyone sort out the mess that the economy is in? Now, my, my emphatic answer to that is yes, but that's got to be proved, and that's what we are proving, and that's why I'm going around the country talking about the things that matter to people, from young people and getting young people back to work, to investing in homes, all of these things that will I think make a difference so so a, a lot of course Sarah I think people are asking this this very very important question about the country which is you know are our problems so deep that nobody can can actually make a difference to them my emphatic answer is yes I wanted to turn now to your own personal approval rating and the good news is you're doing better than Michael Foot uh, the bad news is that your rating is lower than Neil Kinnock at this stage in the election cycle I, I'm not much interested in these issues, you know. I'm interested in talking to people about what, what's happening in their lives. I mean, You're not interested in how popular you are. Well, let, let the polls take care of themselves, I say, Martha. You know, look, I, I became leader two and a half years ago. B different people at different times make criticisms. That's what you get wi with leadership. I, I feel confident about Labour's message. We've got a one-nation message, which is a real message about how we can change the country. We're setting out really important policies for people. As I go around the country, I feel people responding to Labour's message. Uh, and in the end, then the voters make their choice and that, that's what they'll do in these county council elections at the and then at the general election well, they may or may not be responding to labor's message and labor is of course ahead in the opinion polls but you've got a, a net approval rating of minus 16 are you holding your party back no, I don't accept that. I think that what I've done since this party, since, since I won the leadership, is I've not only set out what's really important for an opposition, a, a critique of what we got wrong in government, because you've got to be, if you're an opposition leader who says we got everything right, then uh, frankly, uh, you, you remain a, in, the, in opposition. So you say, well, we got it wrong. You set out a vision of the country, and I think it's a big contrast to the Tories, because I think it's saying we use the talents of everybody in this country, not just a few, with opportunity and responsibility. And then you set out policies that will make a difference and sure look there's a big mountain to climb in politics today because everybody's asking this question which is you know is it possible to turn the country around i say it is and that's the message i'm taking out on the doorsteps and as i say we're getting a good response